for all men. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus a broken bar. Romans 8 to 1. The word translated condemnation in the verse above also means judgment. Judgment is a part and parcel of God's program, even though some folks don't think so. The Bible clearly reveals two main judgments for man. The first one took place when the Lord Jesus was judged for the sins of mankind on the cross. The second will take place on judgment day before the great white throne. Most are more familiar with the latter. According to Romans 8 to 1, man doesn't have to face the second judgment. He can obtain God's righteousness by accepting the truth that Jesus was judged for him on the cross of Calvary. Jesus became the sacrifice for our sin and paid the penalty by his death. Romans 3 25 26 says we've been justified freely by his grace through the redemption that's in Christ Jesus whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God to declare, I say, at this time his righteousness, that he might be just, and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Blessed be God. Thank God Jesus didn't remain in the grave he resurrected on the third day. Today. Anyone who believes in him is justified from every sin and severed from judgment. Hallelujah. What he accomplished for us is much more than the remission of sins. He ushered us into a new life. We now have a new nature. Hallelujah. This is the gospel. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Romans 5:17. Now, every man can boldly come before the throne of grace to obtain mercy. Hebrews 4:16. But some day, not too far away, that throne of grace will become the throne of judgment for those who rejected the salvation in Christ Jesus. That's why he sent us to tell the world that the price has been paid for their salvation. Jesus was judged on their behalf. Prayer, confession, righteous Father, what joy it is to know that Jesus became the sacrifice for the sins of the world and paid the penalty by his death, in full. Now, I have obtained your righteousness by accepting the truth that Jesus was judged for me on the cross. I'm far removed from the destruction or judgment that works in this present world of darkness, because I belong and live in the kingdom of God's dear Son. Amen. Further study, Romans 3 colon 23 26 and LT John 3 colon 16 17 Romans 4 colon 23 25.